Yeah, my name is Michael Peck. Uh, I've been training here since 2011, so going on about seven years. Yeah, it's been quite an experience, uh, to say the least. I just last weekend earned my black belt. Now that certainly seems uh, great and all, but for me that was quite a, a feat because, well, I've had some health issues. I was born in 1983 with a, a heart condition known as Tetralogy of Flow. Over the course of my life up to the age of 16, I had already uh, endured four open heart surgeries. And that was my background where Mike was fragile and Mike couldn't quite do everything everybody could do. But with my wife's help, uh, seeing Swift Kick at a local health fair at her office, she signed me up. And so for me, I thought, boy, this is just another great way to have exercise in my life, to meet some great people, and to maybe build a skill set that I'm just not familiar with. You know, being a heart patient too, uh, getting hit in the chest, getting you know my heart rate up are always concerns. Uh, and my doctors, when they heard that I was doing this, uh, were very cautious. Most days are very unpredictable. Uh, I had come into the studio a week after school got out and was pushing myself. Uh, and I remember distinctly the doors were open, we were pushing air through the studio. And I got right into a kickboxing sparring session with a friend of mine. And out of the clear blue, I felt like I had just run, actually not run, I'd sprint a mile and my heart rate went way up, and then I lost control of my, my respiratory. I went outside to get some air, and I couldn't, couldn't even grab for the doorknob to come back in because I still wasn't feeling well. I wanted to sit down. And then upon sitting down, I said to the folks that were sitting amongst me, can you get me some water? And the next thing I knew, I was on the floor looking up at everybody, and I had passed out. As Soon as I woke up, my family came to, right to the forefront of my mind and I kept asking everybody around me, we need to get my family on the phone and, and make sure that they know that um, I'm okay. At that time, they didn't know if I was gonna be okay. The paramedics came in and they, of course, took things extremely seriously, monitored me, got me hooked up on every machine you could imagine, and just decided to take me in, of course, to the, to the ER. And they found out at that moment that I had a sustained heart rate of over 290 beats. And that actually remained for 30 minutes straight. The engineer from the fire truck rode with me to the hospital, which at the time I thought was pretty cool. But that actually is not so great because that means that things aren't going so well. And then I arrived there on scene at the ER and the ER doc came over and said, you're my sickest patient and we're gonna restart your heart. And I thought, this isn't good. And they restarted my heart with one fail swoop, 100 joules, right from my head to my toes. I ended up coming to, the uh, cardio version corrected the heart, and I ended up staying in the ICU for five nights um, and getting a pacemaker defibrillator uh, implanted. You know, I was kind of thinking, okay, well, I'm a young father, I'm a, I'm a young husband, I need to start thinking about what, what's the next step here? What do I need to start planning for to make sure my family's okay? And those are frightening thoughts to be somebody in their young 30s to have. And so looking back now at Swift Kick, coming through these doors each night, I was able to learn how to mentally overcome some of these hardships that a person like me could have with this medical history. Beyond pulling from my own faith and my own family values, I pulled from Swift Kick because in Swift Kick, you have to start thinking about self-preservation and getting yourself out of situations you shouldn't be in and mental toughness. And those, all those traits really were so evident in my mind when I'm sitting there, laying there in the hospital. You know, having a pacemaker defibrillator installed and uh, implanted has been an amazing life change. Of course, think about it often when I'm here at Swift Kick, there's a, there's a side of it that knows that at any moment I could be shocked back to life. And that's a whole psychological piece that comes along with something like this. The way I'm dealing with it now is a lot to do with what I've learned here at Swift Kick. Uh, the mental toughness and the ability to look at something as tough as it could be. Like the last few weeks going through black belt and, and the training and then of course the testing. And to know that you can get through it with enough dedication uh, and mental toughness. You can push through most anything. You just have to learn how to adapt. You have to learn to 
no pun intended, but roll with the punches. And that's really what I think I've captured from this experience.